Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Big Dem just stuck his huge middle finger in Pence's face. Immediately realizes big mistake too late. Democrat Representative Brian Sims posted a nasty message on Twitter that showed a photograph of him putting up his middle finger and addressing a message to Vice President Mike Pence. The message, which appeared on Facebook, talked about welcoming Pence to Philadelphia and talked about the strong diversity in Philly. That seemed fine until he topped it off with faux alpha male talk. He then topped it off with a healthy heaping of belligerent middle fingering that turned his unprofessional threatening message into one filled with sophomoric humor, albeit was a mediocre attempt at best. While it might have been funny to some, it also seemed like many people couldn't take him seriously and the mixed emotions showed strongly in the replies that he received. If anyone remembers what Kathy Griffin and Robert De Niro are up to with their foul-mouthed antics that people either roll their eyes at or support blindly without realizing how immature it is, then this is right up that alley blazing like fire on gasoline. Regardless of what anyone thinks of Sims, it must be pointed out that he made a major mistake in his attempt to be cool. Sims apparently wanted to send his message to Mike Pence, but he goofed. He sent the message to the wrong Mike Pence account. The account he sent the message to was a parody version of Mike Pence's account. It's a fake. Sims sent his nasty message to the wrong person. He didn't even make sure that his message was sent to the correct Mike Pence. Hmm. Perhaps if he had his other finger on the keyboard or phone screen, then maybe he could have used it to pinpoint the correct Vice President Twitter account. Daily Wire had the full message. A Democratic Pennsylvania representative posted a hateful message on social media on Tuesday to welcome Vice President Mike Pence to his district, by flipping off the Vice President. The full message by Rep. Brian Sims Pennsylvania's first openly gay state representative, appeared on Facebook, where Sims wrote. Official welcome, Vice President Mike Pence let me be the first person to officially welcome you to the city of brotherly love, and to my district in the state house. To be clear, we're a city of soaring diversity. We believe in the power of all people to live and to contribute, black, brown, queer, trans, atheist, immigrant, we want you and we'll respect you. So keep that in mind while you're here raising money to attack more families, spread more lies, blaspheme with your Bible, and maybe even talk to a woman without your wife in the room. We have plenty of them, and they're pretty much all more powerful and more real than you have ever been. So, get bent, then get out. Get bent? What does that mean? Does he want Mike Pence to do some calisthenics or stretching? Remember the Gumby show? Gumby can bend. Does Sims want Pence to be like that? Does he want to know if Mike Pence can do a full split? What is he talking about? Get bent? Get out? Is that tolerance or intolerance? I thought Sims was from the party of tolerance, so why is he telling someone to get out instead of welcoming them with open arms and regardless of differences? Why does he have so much hate for Pence if he's supposed to represent a party that constantly claims they're the most tolerant? That was the full message posted on Facebook. Sims posted the shorter version on Twitter. Either way, it was commented on quite a bit with people pointing out the obvious mistake in his tweet. Imagine that, sitting somewhere thinking you just made the most epic post in your political career and called out the vice president. Then you find out that your post and potentially embarrassing photograph wasn't even sent to the correct person. He wasted all that time and effort to set up his viral tweet, even possibly having someone else snap the photograph, and now this. He's being laughed at for making a huge mistake and sending his anti-Pence message to some stranger sitting behind a parody account. That's like some little boy sending a note to his ex-girlfriend, but he puts it in the wrong locker and some random guy or girl gets it. Then they're reading it and wondering why it was delivered to them in the first place. Perhaps if Sims spent an extra few seconds to type in the correct account. Then it may not have gone as viral. His post likely would have been pushed around a little bit, but it seems to be the fact that he goofed so badly that is causing it to be shared more. Does Sims look bad for posting this? What is your opinion? Share your thoughts below then send this story to a friend who would have a lot to say about it. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.